Hey, look, now I've got a green screen so I can appear anywhere I want to. So many of you out there were skeptical about Lacey Green taking the red pill. And if you've been watching her tweets and her activity online, there's very little doubt. As covered by the age of shitlords. It's official. Lacey Green has been red-pilled. They say, to everyone who doubted my prophetic powers, he's referring to the article, is Lacey Green becoming a shitlord or just trying to jump off a sinking ship from May 3rd? So he was prophetic. You can start apologizing now. Lacey Green's transformation into a fully-fledged shitlord is almost done. A month ago, she was all, I'm still a feminist, but I'm willing to have discussions with the other side. Today, she's criticizing feminism, calling herself red-pilled, and calling out tabloid newspaper-type posts for being sanctimonious and egotistical. Is this real life? Lacey tweets. So, do the feminist extremists accusing me of being a white supremacist or changing my mind because of dick? Realize they prove my point? Broad accusations of being a Nazi white supremacist, etc. towards people with different opinions, even problematic, undermine the seriousness of these issues. Tabloid style posts, videos galore from extremist leftists. Is this really about the struggle, y'all? Cause it looks a lot like sanctimony and ego. Sounds like she's experiencing what we've been experiencing for years. Ah, oh, well, they can stay high and mighty. I'm not mad, just disappointed, you know. I'll be out here working just like I always have. Chris Rate Gunn tweets, Nothing says feminism quite like reducing a woman's freedom of choice and asserting it's exclusively for male attention. The article goes on. She says the experience is helping her get rid of some toxic shit in her life. Leaving radical feminism to her is like leaving Mormonism all over again. She even called out everyday feminism for acting like idiots. Everyday feminism had retweeted a tweet from Lacey earlier, and their fans weren't having any of it because, according to them, she's a bigot now. Everyday feminists decide to delete the retweet and apologize. Lacey says, popping the bubbly tonight to celebrate not giving a fuck. Joshua Daniels tweets, You seem liberated by these recent events. Glad your eyes are opening to the cancerous element on your side. Lol, y'all have no idea. This experience is unexpectedly helping me heal and let go of some toxic shit in my life. It feels like leaving Mormonism again. Bye bye And then here's a tweet, Everyday Feminism, apologizing for posting old posts. L tweets, Stop posting Lacey. She doesn't care about marginalized people, isn't an ally, thinks misandry is real, keeps calling critics feminist extremists. Everyday Feminism's response, our bad folks, we use a program that automatically tweets our older cross posts from time to time. Removing it now, well, let's wipe our history clean, or wrong thing. Lacey Green's response, liberal feminist card revoked. Dialogue is oppressive. There's no such thing as hating men. Identity politics are valid criticism. And another Lacey post. Looking forward to dragging all the blatantly anti-science bullshit on this condescending ass website without feeling guilty. Blair White replies, Lacey, it's so weird to see these tweets coming from you. I'm not gonna lie. Lacey, 10 years of bullshit and no fucks left, Beb. Is that how you pronounce it? Beb? Beb? Babe? Beb? New vid is up. Opening up about why I'm red-pilling and what brought me here. In short... I've seen some shit. Well, well, this was a wild ride. And Lacey's last tweet on this article is, What is a Kekistan? Is anyone going to tell her? Lacey claimed when she started this red pill process that she had noticed the sheer nastiness and ferocity of the feminists and social justice warriors eating their own. The recent events with Rebecca Tuval and others and now she's discovering once she started questioning orthodoxy and once she started talking to people that are the enemies of the cult of SJW and third wave feminist, she became an enemy and this came as a surprise to no one as they turned on her quicker than you could cry patriarchy. Lacey has become the latest heretic to be burned at the stake cult of SJW. This religion tolerates no dissent. 
Everyone has to march in lockstep, and she went into this with eyes wide open. So we wish her luck, and we wish her well, and it's great to have you on our side if this it looks true, and uh, this is a little bit having been watching these recent tweets and then seen this article compile them into one spot it's easy to notice that this is this is for real so and just now while i was editing this video i saw some new posts from lacy obviously frustrated or angered by the sjw community she tweets Here's a bunch of series of tweets, three of them. Some posts about me from the SJW sphere are whack as hell. I feel like I have to bid on this madness before I share any actual opinions. I haven't even really shared any opinions yet. Lol. I want it to be clear just how vitriolic and toxic it becomes over the slightest disagreement. My, how quickly some feminists who claim to be anti-harassment, anti-pylon, or anti-section turn around and do just that amazing well you're learning Lacey you are learning anyway thanks for watching again see you soon and it looks like my voice is back goodbye, goodbye.